Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to basically film something that I need to do anyways, but I'm just gonna film it because I can. And I like like videos that have like time lapses and stuff. I used to be obsessed with the like cleaning my room videos and stuff, which is basically what this is because my room is actually a disaster. Basically for all of high school, I lived in a house where the bonus room was my bedroom and it was actually four times the size of this room and then we downsized and moved right before I started college and so I'm never really in this room but it's very cramped and I have like maxed out the space and I or I thought I had maxed out the space now I need to find even more space because I have so much stuff and so I'm also going to be going through my closet and getting rid of a ton of stuff today hopefully my big issue is sweatshirts which I just don't think I'm going to be able to get rid of any I I used to own like 50 and I've gotten rid of some I still have a lot. I have like, I'll, sh I'll show you, I'll show you what we're working with in a second here, but I have to unpack everything today. It's currently 10.03 and I'm working on a bit of a jet lag because we just got back yesterday from Rome. So yeah, it's a six hour time difference. So right now it'd be like four. It's a normal time right now, but once we get later in the day, obviously it will be different. But I just went grocery shopping because we had actually no groceries. And now I'm going to spend the rest of the day unpacking and dealing with this room because it's, it's actually it's actually a disaster. Like I'm a very clean person and this is driving me insane. So I'm going to show you. Hold on. OK, so this is literally what we're working with here. Ignore. It's an inside joke. Just ignore. But like I haven't even made my bed yet because I was going to make my bed on camera. And this is what we have. So I have multiple bags that I need to unpack and I need to go, oh, let me show you my closet. I can barely open it because these pillows are in the way, but it's like, you can't tell. It doesn't actually look like it's stuff full, but it is stuff full. So I'm first going to start by making my bed because that's what they always say to start by making your bed. So I'm going to start by making my bed and then I think then I'll go through my closet maybe and then we can deal with all of the unpacking. So that's done. I know I have a million pillows, just ignore that, but it's done. And now I'm going to, I guess, go through my closet and my dresser drawers and try to find stuff to get rid of. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> The main issue that I encountered is that I had already gone through all my clothes when I left last time. So I didn't have that much else to get rid of. But some of these things I am going to donate. I'm only donating that sour. I got reimbursed for the sour merch because everyone like complained because it was not supposed to have the ribs. Anyways, I never wear it because of that. So and then a lot of these shorts just like are too big for me now. And then some of the stuff. So that's all stuff that's actually getting donated. Some of the stuff. I'm not in Delta Zeta, that's my mom's old sweatshirt, which is really cute, but she cropped it like really terribly. So I'm not gonna keep that. But the rest of these are my mom's old stuff or my grandpa's old sweaters. And I just, I'm not gonna wear them right now. So I'd rather them just kind of go into storage and be like, I'm gonna put them in one of those like vacuum sealed bags so that they don't take up space in my closet just cause they're really big like knits. So. I'm not getting rid of those. And then this sweatshirt, I'm just going to move to my other. Basically, I have that whole thing full of sweatshirts. And then I have this file cabinet thing full of sweatshirts. So now I'm going to move on to tackling the whole unpacking situation and seeing if I can fit all of these clothes in my room.
so it is the next day and I ended up getting a little bit distracted. I just did a lot yesterday. Like I went grocery shopping. I did a lot. I like went grocery shopping. I started like the whole process of laundry because I have so much laundry and I unpacked most things. I still have to unpack a few things, which is what I'm going to record now. I also ended up just like chilling for a few hours because I was so tired like it hit me at five which made sense because that was like 11 p.m which is my like usual bedtime so it hit like a freaking truck and i ended up falling asleep at like 10 which is a little bit early like even for me i was like out at 10 so yeah and i slept no one's asking for this information but i slept until two woke up because that would have been like 8 30 it was like 2 30 which is my normal wake up time and then i was so tired that i ended up staying asleep to like seven anyways i had a dmv appointment today because i had to get my real id and my driver's license was expired so i got that and then now i'm going to clean up all these clothes and then i also have laundry that should be done in like 15 minutes it's currently 10 51 and then i am a diet coke girl and i have like an actual obsession it's really bad but i only really like i get it a lot other places but i only really love it for mcdonald's and I decided I'm gonna just go for a drive and just get Diet Coke. And I would go for like an actual, cause I love driving and I love like listening to music and like going for a drive, but gas is too freaking pricey for me to be going on like casual drives. So I at least need to have a destination. My destination is McDonald's. I think I'm gonna work out later. I'm gonna edit one of the vlogs that you guys will be seeing way before this video goes up. So I woke up so early, I feel like I've been pretty productive today. So already. It's only 11. My brother's playing video games and he's screaming. But anyways, okay, I'm gonna time lapse this, put these clothes away. I'm done with organizing. I have some stuff drying, obviously. Also, I am indeed wearing the exact same t-shirt I wore yesterday. But honestly, I didn't wear it for that long. I don't know. I'm not justifying it. I do a thing where, like, I will be obsessed with an article of clothing. It does get washed. Let me live. I don't know. But I thought I'd do, like, a mini haul in here just of some of the things that I got. I got, like, a lot of souvenirs, obviously, while I was gone because I was gone for, like, actually two months. And I bought a lot of crap. But I thought I would show some of the things that I bought whilst there. I'm gonna have to like sort through all this because I don't even know. And I also kind of wanted to talk about my dorm plan because in terms of decor, because it's my last year in like a dorm. Technically we're in an apartment. If you're familiar with BU, we're in Stuvi one. I don't know. I still don't know the difference. And every time I have to have my friends tell me, but in my last dorm, I had a print that had like an orange on it and I'm going to reuse the same print. It's pretty massive. And so I think I'm going to put that above my bed again this year. And then I thought it'd be cute to do like, basically I thought about this when I went to, I don't know if you've ever been to a flying tiger, but it's like the cutest, like stationary. They have a ton of stuff cheap. It's a, um, it's a, I think it's a Danish store. Anyways, they have a ton of really cute, like cheap stuff stuff and like stuff for your room. We went to a flying tiger. My dad went to the best one. My dad and I went to the best one I've ever been to in Livorno, Italy, like a random, it's not random, it's like a city, but um, it's a port city in Tuscany. And anyways, so we went there and I got this, which then inspired me. And I was like, okay, I think we need to go for a fruit theme this year. Like, I think that's the vibe. So I bought this to put like my jewelry and stuff on in on my desk in my dorm. So I have this and I have a similar, let me grab it. So I bought this at a thrift store a long time ago. It's an eggplant <laughs> and it just has all my change. And so I think I might bring that with me as well to the dorm. And then I also bought at Fine Tiger because it was on sale and I, okay. I thought that this would look really cute with the banana one color wise because this same blue is in the orange print that I have, but I just thought these would look really cute on my desk. And then the last thing I got was also for my desk and I need a new one. I didn't need a new one. Actually, I, I have one that works perfectly fine, but I wanted a new desk mirror and this one just like, it's, 
nice. It was really freaking cheap. And so I just thought these kind of all go kind of well together and will sit on my desk. So that's all the stuff I bought at Flying Tiger. And then as for, so as for wall art, like I said, I have that like giant orange print, which I'm going to keep and put on my, on above my bed. And I keep my bedding. I actually did this last year where like I went very minimal with my dorm and I just had like the giant print and then my bedding was just beige. Like it was literally just beige and I had no throw pillows. I had my beige bedding and then, or like off white bedding and my like boyfriend pillow thing. So that's all I had on my bed and I liked it like that. Like I feel like it made the room look a lot bigger and like cleaner. Anyways, so I'm going simple again this year, but I have my own room so I can go like a little less simple. You know what I mean? Like I just have a bit more space to work with. So that's all the stuff that's gonna go on my desk. Like just, I think just the banana, that little bowl and the mirror are like the only things that are gonna go on my desk. Normally this thing is on my desk. It has been on my desk for two years at school, but I'm not gonna bring it this time because I don't think I need the space. It does provide like a lot of storage. This is from Ikea, but I think I'm just gonna leave it here. And then above my desk, I bought these, which these are not fruit themed, but they kind of match the color scheme and they kind of match the color scheme of the orange print. So I'm gonna do it anyways, but I bought these, which technically this one's supposed to be on its side, but I'm just gonna turn it. Um, and I think it's fine, but I bought these at the Monet Gardens. So yeah, they're just, they're pretty, I don't know. This one I'm just gonna have to, yeah, like turn on its side. Yeah, super cute. So I'm just gonna frame these, put them above my desk, but I think the, the, the color scheme, it works, it works. And then on my dresser, so basically in the dorm, as far as I'm aware, we have like a dresser, a we have an actual closet, we have a dresser, and then we have the desk area and then obviously the area above our bed. So on my dresser, I'm going to put the eggplant thing. And then I might put this, which this is, I'm basic. And my all-time favorite movie is La La Land, Let Me Live. I was also like literally an emotional wreck when I watched it. Like in my life, I was an emotional wreck, not just because of the movie. And the movie sent me into a freaking spiral. I bought this in Paris, which is freaking beautiful. And I don't know where to put it because it doesn't exactly match the color scheme that I'm going for. It doesn't not, but it also doesn't really, but it's beautiful. She's a mammoth, of course. But I might put this above my desk is what I'm saying with all that. That's everything I bought in Paris, like for my dorm. I just thought it'd be cute to show. But anyways, I think I might just wrap up this video here because the only other thing I have to do is put my laundry away and it's just gonna be more of the same and it's still very much in the dryer. But anyway, so I think that's gonna be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed just like the casual like time-lapse situation. I will be vlogging more while I'm home, even though I'm not really doing much and there's nothing really to do here, but I will be vlogging more while I'm home regardless. And yeah, so I will talk to you guys in my next one.